remember by name. I I used to because they have, they wear their names on their on their aprons, but I don't. I can't say I know any of the top top of them. You know, there's some people who I see every so often. I don't know any of their names, but you know, some people I recognize more than others. Yeah, there's some that I see regularly, like when we first come in and stuff, but I don't really pay attention. <laughs> One John. My name is Scott Breitmeyer, and I've worked at the U of R for the last five years in dining services. I am Shamika Wilson. Hi, my name is Yomar Estrella. My name is Roxanne Brumfield. I work in Douglas Dining Center, and I am the chief steward of our union. My name is Robin Wilcox. I work at Douglas Dining, and I am a personal partner. Hello out there, for those who are viewing. My name is Anthony McCullough and I work for Dining Services here at the University of Rochester. Happy Silly Day. I actually know when it happened. I was at a Wegmans in 2005. I accidentally just said that to the cashier trying to make her laugh. And she just started laughing and almost fell on the floor laughing. <laughs> so I just started saying it to everybody I met. Food is my passion. I love to see people enjoying themselves. Um, I like the challenges of some of the menus we have, uh, just putting it in my mind and making my hands do it and creating a pretty dish. We're from the same country, some of the students are from Dominican Republic, so we have plenty of conversation about our country and how they, they came over here to study and how beautiful is um, this place here. One of the things that I've found over the many years in this business of working on college campuses is that the dining service employees uh, each see some students more often than those students see their professors. Um, you eat three meals a day or sometimes two meals a day, uh, not always in the same place, but you might go to a class two or three times a week. Um, and so that's, we talk about that a lot in our training with our employees, and we want them to interact, especially our employees that have been here for several years as a whole, they love being on a college campus because they like interacting with students. I think the only frustration comes when there are students that are very hard to interact with, when we can't get students out of their phones, um, when we can't get students to, 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 to think and interact. Sometimes I think some of the students are really shy and they don't, they just want to come and get food too. So like, or maybe they're in a hurry to go to a class. So you cannot crush with this person with the same attitude that they give to you. You're not here for that. Sometimes everybody's not willing to interact. Everybody's not okay with interacting. You know, if they've had a terrible enough day, I wouldn't want to speak anyway either. So, you know, it's just, okay, have a good day, sweetie. Maybe you have a stomach ache that day. Maybe your dog died, so I don't know what you're going through. So in reference to that, I have to be understanding and let you be in your space. And if you did not have a correct response or a happy response to me, it's okay. Because I'm still going to smile and say you have a nice day. A long time ago, our number one philosophy was we'll do whatever you need, just ask. And we've had to change that because so many students don't ask. You have to let people open up on their own. You can't push it. You know, you can't force the issue. Food and comfort are related. This is a place where you can come every day and feel comfortable. And if we're learning names and talking to students, that only enhances that situation. We can make one person happy, at least. You know, we can't make everybody happy. We try. We aim very high for that. Sometimes write for the Campus Times. I wrote a story about the uh, relationships between students and dining hall workers. And then I started thinking, like, well, why don't I know any of these people's names? Um, and I realized, like, I hadn't really reached out to them, um, but these people were some that uh, I don't know. They just, when I would walk in, just would make me super happy. Most of the interactions are very business-like. I mean, I'm there to get my food, they're there to serve it to me. Um, 
mostly it's just waiting in line. You don't have a lot of time, so you just say thank you and and whatever else. Especially when they have a job to do, it's to me, I think it's just more beneficial to do your business and leave them alone. We're not here just to feed you. That's Anybody could do that in all honesty. Our job in dining is not just to feed students, but I think some students come in thinking that's it. Your job's to feed me, give me food, I'm, I'm gone. Um, and so we've got to continue to find ways to, to, to let them know our role is to create places where you feel welcome, where you feel safe, where you might want to spend a little bit of extra time in a really crazy day. Um, and so we have to keep pushing that and, and working through that. You could end up having like a, a incredible relationship with them. You never know. Like that goes for anyone. Like the more you open up um, and the more you engage, the more opportunity there is for something more special. Michael from the Pasta Mora, he was actually saying, imagine that your parents are paying so much tuition to get you here and without students we wouldn't have university so we wouldn't have jobs. And he was like, at least for that, we should be thankful to the students and the students should be thankful to us because we're preparing their food. I see, I did have a student, I was playing with him one day and he had a shirt um, from upstairs. They were giving away t-shirts and I'm like, where's mine? Why didn't you bring me a t-shirt? And he ended up giving me his shirt by the time he left. And that actually brightened my day. I'm like, oh, thank you. you know, those, like I said, those are the interactions that I appreciate. It might not have been the best day, but a story of what you did during your day or just a little joke or right. did you see that game last night or could you believe this? It's like, it makes it all worth it. It's important to get along with other people. It's important to understand other people's cultures, other people's backgrounds and that kind of thing. So that as a diverse culture, you can learn from other people. I think all of us working to establish that caring environment then the rest will follow. Have a happy, silly day! <laughs> I love Scott too. <laughs>